uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this segment this is my sixth video in uh, vmware vcenter configuration so guys uh, in this video i'm talking about what are the component and services available in vmware vcenter server basically and uh, let me begin this so guys here vcenter provides uh, in my previous video also i told you a couple of times like you know it provides like it is a central centralized platform for management operation resource provisioning and performance evaluation of virtual machines and host what is what is it it is vcenter vcenter okay vcenter server basically and there are two situations for installation if you want to install a uh, vcenter then you have two situations and you can select appropriate one as per the requirement so in this the very first one when you install vcenter server with an embedded platform service controller okay you are you are going to use it as a uh, with embedded platform service controller and the second one when you install vcenter server with an external platform service controller so you got one with or one without you can say without embedded platform server you are using external platform service controller so what will happen here so when you install vcenter server with embedded platform service controller or deploy a vcenter server appliance with an embedded platform service controller what will happen here vcenter uh, vcenter server vcenter server components and vcenter and the services including in uh, platform service controller are deployed on the same server okay so each and everything will be installed on single server if you are going to install vcenter with an embedded platform service controller and next one when you install a vcenter server with an external platform service controller or you deploy uh, the vcenter server appliance with an external platform service controller what will happen here vcenter server vcenter server component are deployed on one server and the services included in the platform service controller are deployed on another server so here you will have two server and here you will have one server so this is the difference between if you are going to install vcenter uh, with embedded platform service controller or without embedded platform service controller or if you are ex using any external embedded uh, platform service controller so you should choose as for the requirement if you have two server you can go with this external and if you have one server or you want to install on one server you can install uh, with embedded platform service so what will happen exactly here if you are using embedded platform service controller and external platform service controller so this is that these are the two situations basically and now the following components are included in vcenter and vcenter server appliance installation first of all uh, the v uh, the vmware platform service controller group of at group of infrastructure service contains like you know basically these services contains vcenter single sign on license servicing lookup service and vm certificate vmware certificate authority i will talk about each and everything one by one in this video so the vcenter server group of services contains uh, vcenter server vcenter uh, vsphere client vsphere web client vsphere auto deploy and vsphere esxi dump collector okay so these are the services contained in uh, vcenter so if we talk about little more vcenter server for windows also contain the vmware vsphere syslog collector and uh, uh, vcenter server appliance also contain the vmware sphere vsphere update manager uh, extension services and services installed with vmware platform service controller vcenter single sign on what it is actually so the, the vcenter uh, single sign on authentication service provides secure authentication service to the vsphere software components and by using vcenter single sign on the, uh, the vsphere component communicate with each other 
through secure token exchange mechanism instead of requiring each computer to authenticate a user separately with a directory service like Active Directory. vCenter single sign-on is required with vCenter server. Next one, next service which is license service. So the vSphere license service provide common licensing, uh, license inventory and management capability to all vCenter uh, systems, vCenter server systems that are connected to a platform service controller or multiple linked platform service controller. What is the role of uh, certificate authority here? So VMware certificate authority provides each e ESXi host with signed certificate that has VMCA as a root certificate authority by default. Now services installed with vCenter server. So the very first one is PostgreSQL and it is a like a bundled version of VMware distribution of uh, PostgreSQL database for vSphere and cloud hybrid services. Next one web client. So vSphere web client is you know to take remote of vCenter on multiple web browsers and client is used to uh, again it is used to take remote of vCenter. Next one, vSphere ESXi dump collector. So, vCenter server support tool. You can configure ESXi to save, save the uh, VM kernel memory to a network server rather than to a disk when the system encounters a critical failure. And the vSphere ESXi dump collector collects such memory dump over the network. Next one, VMware vSphere syslog. So, VM Center Server on Windows support tool that enable network logging and combining the logs from multiple hosts. You can use the VSPS log collector to direct ESX, ESXi system logs to a server on the network rather than on a local disk. And guys, this the, the vCenter server applies uses the built-in uh, uh, rsyslog service for Linux operating systems or off uh, Linux operating systems. Next one is like, uh, you know, vSphere auto deploy. So the, the vCenter server support tool that can provision hundreds of physical hosts with ESXi software. And you can specify the image to deploy and the host to provision with the image. Optionally, you can specify host profile to, deploy, uh, to apply to the host and a vCenter server location, like folder or cluster for each host. So these are the advantages of using uh, vSphere auto deploy service. Next one is VMware vSphere update managers extensions extension. So guys update manager enable enables centralized automated patch and version management of VMware vSphere and offers support for VMware ESXi host virtual machine and virtual appliances. And uh, the, the VMware is uh, vSphere update manager extension is optional service of only the vCenter server appliance 6.7. So guys, in this video, this much information only. And in next video, I will be talking about uh, virtualization layer. There, there are three layer basically uh, in this uh, complete virtualization. So I will be talking about first of all virtualization layer, then management layer, and we have one interface layer. So what are the component we have or what are the features services available in uh, virtualization layer? I will be talking about one by one in the next video. So guys, till then, bye-bye.